Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. I am Squishy the Titan, and welcome to part two of Distraint. Now, in the last video, we started this game out, and it looked like it's nice, creepy little um, 2D side-scrolling adventure game sort. Um, and it's a horror game, which is nice, because I like pixelated, you know, 2D horror games. Those are refreshing. Now, um, we got chased by a big-ass elephant, so now the next logical step is to make my morning coffee. That wouldn't work. Why it wouldn't work? I'm not ready to leave yet. I need my coffee. I also need to change out of my pajamas. Alright, so I'm guessing this is in London, because it's usually, like, British to, um... Spell it with a Y. Not sure how hygienic is this, but man gotta get his coffee. There, I have some water now. Alright. I'm just gonna go ahead and save there for no reason. I'll put the water here, okay. I'll watch some tell- yeah, it's, it's English. I watch some telly while the coffee is brewing. Do you just have? Do you just stand and watch television? Oh yeah, it's thundering. Oh, I shouldn't risk it. Let's just go ahead and save. I save spastically when it's a horror game. There's nothing here. Must be my imagination. The coffee should be ready now. Yay! What? No, that is that is not what I wanted to do. Hello? <laughs> you are right, dear. How silly that day was. Oh, look, dear, it's our little boy. I can see that one. Hey, son, you don't mind we took some coffee already. Although it tastes a little funny. No, no, not at all. Are you alright, dear? You look so pale. Aren't you supposed to be, you know, dead? Of course we are dead! What a silly thing to say, but even though we are already gone, does it make you crazy to hear our words of wisdom? I suppose not. And that's exactly why we are here. So listen to us, son, and let your conscience do the talking. Sounds reasonable. We heard some, well, unpleasant things about you, dear. That is correct. We're worried about you, me and your father. Are you getting greedy, son? It's not too late to make a change. I'm gonna stop, because I haven't done it in an English accent in a long time, and I'm bad at it. Look, I'm not proud of all the things I've done. Look at this cranky apartment. I just want to be successful in my life. We understand, son, but at the expense of the other people? Think about it, son. You're better than that. I don't know. I've worked hard for this. Oh no, it's raining blood! Raining blood from a lacerated sky. Raining in his horror. Slayer. I'm a malhead. Shut up. Looking for Mrs. Goodwin. Is this the right address? What the fuck is going on with the soundtrack? just got grim. Hold it together. It's only my mind playing tricks on me. Yes, it must be. Okay, I better get dressed. Golly! This game got dark! When in doubt, Pinky out. It was rough yesterday, but I decided to carry on. Though I would lie to you if I said I didn't think of Mrs. Goodwin. Anyway, Mr. Taylor was the next name on my list. He lived in a forest as a hermit. He had no debt, but the city wanted to expropriate his property. They built a highway there. I traveled to him so I could seize his property. <clears throat> okay. No trespassers! 
I think there was a little bit of a frame rate dip, and I'm not sure why. This cabin should be here somewhere. Ah! Let's save our progress! Ah, there it is! This is Price. I'm looking for Mr. Taylor. Hello? Either he's not at home or he's ignoring me. I need to talk to him. It's locked. It's a firewood stack. It's locked. Hi! Hello, friend. Hello. You must be Mr. Taylor. I am. My name's Price. Nice to make acquaintance. Please drop the act and let me hear your threats. I know why you are here. Threats? No, no, how about reasoning? You see, the city would build a highway here. It would bring lots of new people and tourism to the city. And a lot of money too, am I, or am I mistaken? Well, that's exactly the problem with you people. Money is your king. Where's your compassion? This is my home. Sir, it's been quite a long day already. Everything is already prepared. And don't forget, we are offering you a very fair compensation. And if you refuse, we will have to expropriate your property. Guess I have no options but to bend over. There, you got me! I hope you're happy. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, kid, I know you're just doing your work. Sir, if there's anything I could do, there is something. It's getting chilly out here. Let's talk in my cabin. Here, take this key. I'll follow you shortly. Oh, and while you are at it, could you make fire to the fireplace? Of course, thank you, sir. Wow! I can't see any way of this going wrong. Strange man, I'm about to take his house. He offers me to go to his house. It's gonna be a murder cabin! That's some Hills Have Eyes shit going down here. Oh yeah, that sinister tone. That's just a little warm and welcoming. Yeah. This was a good idea. Yeah. All right. It's a dog bed. It smells oddly horrible. It's a trash can full of papers. Crossword, search word. He seems to like puzzles. Yeah, so you just came into his captain cabin. Now he's gonna jigsaw the fuck out of you and puzzle, make you a puzzle. It's locked. Good, good, good choice. Good life decisions. There's something. Matches. Perfect. Here goes. Damn it! Firewood is moist. Need something that ignites easily. A paper, perhaps. Lighting a match could help the smell. Nah, I'll skip. Did he poop in his tub? Oh, poop in the bath? It's a horrible idea. Bathtub. There's quite a strong smell to it. <sighs> this is gonna be one of them games. What was in here? A hallway! Because the papers is kindling, okay. I thought that little stain on the wall was actually moving. That would have um, tweaked me out a little bit.
All right. Aha, look what I've created. I've made fire. Hello. I see you made fire. Good, thank you. My pleasure. It's so dark in here. Yes, there's no electricity, but back to the topic. See, my dog has gone missing. And you want me to find him? Her? Her? It was quite a mysterious disappearance. How so? Well, she was here when I went to bed last night. And as far as I'm aware, she can't open doors. And yet she was gone at the break of dawn. Huh. Then she must be inside. So I thought, but I can't find her anywhere. If you find her, I'll happily sign any papers you may have. Got yourself a deal, sir. I'll start my investigation. Good luck, kid! This dog is gonna be dead. It's gonna be a zombie dog. It's a zombie dog. Maybe in the oven? Dog food and water bowls, nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting. Oh, is it gonna be in the bathtub? Locked. Okay, where's that, where's that, uh, bathroom? Cause I have a feeling that there's uh, gonna be some funny stuff going on in that bathroom. Oh yes, funny stuff indeed. That's the outside world. I don't need to go there. Where is that bathroom? Jeez. Here we are. What the hell? So is the dog gonna be in the locked, uh, locked room? Seems like a little bit of an eventuality. Hello, Mr. Sir. Where did you last saw her? Bedroom. She sleeps in the same room with me. Okay, thanks. Why is this so sinister? Okay, this dog bed smells like piss and soap. May might be important. I'll ask Mr. Taylor about this. I noticed that the dog bed smells funny. Yes, we had a little skunk accident yesterday. Oh, the smell. Anyway, we spent a good hour scrubbing the stink away. Lots of water and lots of shampoo. That explains the smell. I'm sure this helps. I'll look into it. So now about the bathroom. God damn. I don't particularly like those games where you have to keep going back and forth between places. Guess this is where he washed the dog, it still reeks. Okay, let me think of the dog bed already stink that bad. Wonder how the dog would smell. Think I could follow her scent. What? You're not a dog! Door. Dog must have gone through here. Dog, is, the door is locked with a combination lock. I can't follow her. I, I'll talk to Mr. Taylor. You're not a dog. You can't follow that. There's a locked door in the hallway. Where does it lead? Why? Well, there's a hole in the door. I believe that the, I believe the dog has gone through there. Hmm, that would make sense. There's an old underground cellar behind that door, but I haven't used it in years. I could take a look, but I need a combination for the lock. Oh yes, what was it? So long, you see. I'm afraid I've forgotten the combination, but I'm no fool, so I have a backup. It's 
great. Where can I find it? The papers? See, I love puzzles of all kind. I believe I hid the combination in one of the puzzles. If I remember correctly, the word you'll need is tree. Yes, that's the word. Okay, I'll take a look. Hey, kid, thanks for going through the trouble. Don't worry about it. I think it was here? Yeah. Um, where's tree? There it is. So... 5C 6D7EAF 5D 5C7 5C6D7EAF Okay, let me just enter that into my memo thing on my phone. 5 C six D seven E eight F or C five D six E seven F eight. Okay. And I also see fire. Move. Whatever. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll go try out this combination lock. <clears throat> Let's see. Five. Five, wait, six. Seven, eight? Are you serious? Oh yeah, let's save the progress, cause nothing scary can happen when you've just saved the progress. So I went into this room. Zombie dog went in. Inevitable zombie dog. It's a washing machine, doesn't work, there's no electricity. An old compressor. Let's see if there's still some juice in it. Nothing happened. Oh, good. Let's go. Into the deeper unknown. Oh! Okay. Hammer, saw, wrench, nails. Huh, what's that? No doubt this gasoline can will come in handy. Like for the compressor. Look at that! It's already on! Okay, so... Now, okay... Power is on now, let's see. Yeah, I did too. I thought he may maybe have washed his uh dog. May I thought maybe he had uh machine washed his dog and that would have been very bad. As I am a dog owner of a beautiful pu of his beautiful pupper named Max. Found his old glove. Yeah, oh yeah, my dog loves chewing it. Good to know, thanks. I'm like dreading what I may have to do. And I'm pretty, pretty darn sure it's gonna be Zombie Doggo. <sighs> okay, follow the smell. <clears throat> of course. 
Why wouldn't it? Oh! Zombie doggo! Is that zombie doggo? That one good. Oh no! Zombie doggo! Here, girl. I don't have the guts to get any closer. Here, girl, smell this glove. That's it. Come here. It's not a zombie doggo. Woof. Your master is worried about you. You should go home. Good girl. All right, back to the cabin. Okay, so it's not a zombie. It's not a zombie doggo. Got wrecked. What? You found her. Thanks, kid. I signed the papers. You can find them inside. I will leave immediately. It feels easier that way. Farewell, sir. Okay, I better get the papers. Good to see you. you Tape room no more. Another job. Well done. Well done. Well done. Though you're getting soft, soft, soft. Doing him a favor by finding his lousy mutt. He seemed like a bird. Nonsense. 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 You should have just kicked his worthless ass. His ass. Next time you must remain strict. 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 I understand. Do you now? You wouldn't want us to. You wouldn't want to make us regret choosing you. No, sirs. That's the spirit. Thank you for the opportunity, sirs. This that reminds me. Something of great importance. Importance, importance. What's that? We have yet to see you dance, son. Okay. Uh-oh, now dance. Yes, sir. <laughs> now faster. That's our boy. Yeah, that's not faster. this game Oh boy Oh boy Oh cool existential dread That's my specialty Can I save There. I haven't seen you in a while. How's it going, buddy? You looking good. You're doing all, uh, going all squiddly. Washing machine. Okay. There was nothing really bad in that one. Yes. Skull. I'm like, it's quickly breaking the immersion of that I was scared of before. Hello? Hello there, Miss Lady. I can only move on a 2D plane. I can't go to the one standing out. This is so loud! Oh! Okay. I fell down and couldn't get up. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. 
If I was there, I would have helped you up. Yes? Is this Mr. Price speaking? Yeah. My name is Stewards. I'm sorry to bother you at such a late hour. What is this all about? It's Mrs. Goodwin. I know you're not relative, but I'm afraid she has no one else. She asked me to call you. See, she had a stroke yesterday. Oh, how's she doing? Well, considering the seriousness of the stroke, she's fine. But she's in very low spirits, and when the mind falls, the body will follow. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, I'm sorry I don't know what to say. I understand, but she has asked specifically for you, Mr. Price. Could you consider visiting her here in our care? Sure. I'm sure it would mean a lot to her. Yes, I will happily do it. Thank you, Mr. Price. I will bring the message to her. I'm sure we'll be, she will be delighted. Thank you, Mr. Stewards. Well, damn. That's... That's pretty dark. And also, sorry if my webcam glitches. Windows 10 is really not liking Logitech webcams at the moment and Logitech webcam software. It keeps crashing and stuttering a lot. So, like, if you see in the last one, there's a point where my webcam just stopped for, like, five seconds and then just picked up again. But, like, it's been doing that a lot. Huh, what a nightmare. Ah, oh, shit, I wonder how Mrs. Goodwin is doing. Maybe I should visit her for my own sake. So we're going to save, and I'm going to call it for this episode. So anyway, that's all I've got for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends about me. I am Squishy the Titan, and you have a damn nice day. Bye!